This may be, pound for pound, the best telescope mount on the market. It is the Jouet 14 strain wave mount. And it's available on websites such as AliExpress for just over 600 British pounds. It can take payloads of up to 13 kilograms with the help of a counterweight. But without a counterweight, just like this, it can still handle payloads of eight kilograms. And that is incredible. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the cheapest strain wave mount on the market to see how well it holds its own against the big boys and whether or not this should be your go-to, go-to mount for the future. I'm Damon Scotting and this is Astronomical. Now, you may have seen one of my previous videos in which I reviewed the Jouet 14's larger brother, the Jouet 17, a more than capable mount when it comes to handling payloads and certainly affordable when it comes to buying a tracking mount. But is the Jouet 14 an even smarter option than the Jouet 17? Let's find out. So, the Jouet mounts are becoming increasingly available as they become increasingly popular. I've received a lot of feedback from my previous review where people have since bought the mount and are really enjoying it. When looking at the current mainstream market, you are given the choice between mounts like the Skywatcher 150R or the AM5N, which let's just face it, for the vast majority of us are simply not affordable. It's not even close. These mounts are capable of significant payloads, but at the end of the day, how many of us are actually using telescope rigs that weigh more than 10 kilograms, let alone 20 kilograms? Given the option to choose between the current popular models and a smaller, lower payload, more compact variation that's available at a cheaper cost, I think many of us would take that opportunity. In fact, both the Skywatcher 150i and the AM5 mounts have smaller brothers that handle payloads of 15 and 13 kilograms with counterweights and 10 and 8 kilograms without counterweights. But again, they still come with a hefty price tag, both of which costing more than £1,500. Interestingly, the AM3 mount from ZWO has the exact same payload capabilities as the Jouet 14. But what's more interesting is that once you account for the UK 20% import tax, the mount is still only a little over £700 hundred pounds, which is less than half the price of the AM3. Now the price you pay will certainly vary depending on where you live and what taxes you currently pay. I know America is having an absolute roller coaster of a time right now figuring out what's what. But as someone from the UK, here are two ways that I managed to reduce the cost of the mount even further than before. Number one was to use the AliExpress limited time codes that seem to appear once a month for about two weeks. Seriously, they are that frequent. Number two is to use a cashback website like Top Cashback. I'm not sponsored to say this by the way, I've been using this website for a while. Sometimes the cashback is as high as 15% here, but be aware it takes like two months to actually hit your bank account. But by combining these two methods, I went from paying £732, including shipping and taxes, to £551, including shipping and accounting for the UK's 20% import charges. So at this price, the mount isn't just the cheapest strain wave mount on the market, it's also the cheapest go-to tracking mount. Okay, let's take a deep look at what its features are. Firstly, as you can see from the side of the mount head itself, we have a 12 volt DC power input for the power supply, an Ethernet port for the hand remote control, an AUX port for you to add your DSLR camera, and then a Type-C input that will connect your mount to your computer, your Stellar Vita, or your ASI Air. Amazing. That's everything that we need and then some. I'm surprised to see a DSLR input. I'm yet to see that on another mount. But the real surprise is what lies on the other side. A single button, all alone in the center of the mount head. Now naturally, after using the Jouet 17 and the AM5s, this button can only do one thing logically, and that is power it on. So imagine my surprise when I plug in the mount on one side and then press this button on the other to see a huge green laser shoot out from the mount towards the heavens above, almost perfectly pinpointing the North Star Polaris. Wow. It turns out this switch is used to activate an inbuilt green laser pointer that helps you swiftly align your mount towards the North Star. Now via using this method, you are not going to guarantee yourself the most precise alignment on Earth, but you are certainly going to put yourself well within the ballpark, which is going to save you a lot of time when it comes to more precisely polar aligning your setup. A clear distinction to make is that the laser isn't constantly activated when the power is on. You have the control yourself to turn it on or off. So once you're finished utilizing it for the polar align feature, you can switch it off and watch as the aircraft pilots breathe a sigh of relief and thank their lucky stars that you are not another crazy weirdo that points lasers at planes. I know this is going to sound dumb, but this is by far the coolest improvement of a telescope mount I've ever seen. It's basically a $20 laser pointer inbuilt into the mount. So the reality of it is it's not exactly that innovative or costly 
but it's a very cool and efficient way of lining up your mount faster than ever before. I probably shouldn't be giving this as much time and praise as I am, but yeah, I love it. And I think it's mad that the cheapest of all the strain wave mounts on the market is the only one to utilize this feature. Anyway, moving on, as you've seen throughout the majority of these clips, the Jouet 14 mount is carrying the biggest and heaviest telescope, which is the Starfield 115 telescope that weighs 6.8 kilograms when you also include the tube rings and dovetail bar into the total weight. Add to it a one times flattener and the ASI 533 color camera, and you are still within the eight kilogram payload limit for tracking without a counterweight bar. So I'm hoping this acts as like a relatively decent visual demonstration of just how capable even the least capable strain wave mount is when it comes to carrying your telescope gear. Its tracking and slewing capabilities are top draw. I've had zero issues with it and its guiding error is generally between 1 to 1.5 arc seconds which is absolutely delightful. Just make sure you accurately polar align it and you will be golden. The max slew rate of this mount is 2.4 degrees per second as opposed to the 6 degrees per second of the AM5 mount which isn't exactly that big of an issue because the only time I really noticed it was slewing at a slower rate than the AM5 mount was because for a split second I thought the mount wasn't slewing at all because it's so unbelievably quiet like seriously impressively quiet which is a huge difference to the mount of old which in the dead of the night would just scream so my biggest issue with the mount is that it's quite difficult to adjust the azimuth with the knobs provided but that's basically it. That is, in conclusion, my full summary of the Jouet 14 mount. And if you can get it for the price that I managed to get it at, it's an insane bargain. And if you only can get it at paying full price, it's still a really, really good deal. I've attached a link in the description below where you can find the Jouet 14 mount yourself. And I'll do my best to update the description with codes whenever they become available. Generally, if you go onto the homepage of AliExpress anyway, the first thing you'll see is like a banner that displays all of the current available promotions that are running right now. So yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical.